quite a while ago a lot of you voted for a voiceover so here it is and here's my beautiful black country accent so i went in first with my vitamin c the body shop moisturizer i find that this sits best on my skin i'm, I'm not sure why it's kind of like a gel um, and then i wait for that to sink into my skin and then i went in with my nc10 max studio fix because i love it i have no idea what brush this is by the way i just know it's from real techniques I've then gone in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I don't know what it is, I fell in love with this about a month ago and I just use my finger to blend it or you can use a beauty blender. Just using the spoolie end of the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and combing all of my brow hairs up. I always underline the shape of my brow first like I'm doing in the video and then I work on the tail of the brow. Um, I never really fill in the front of the brow because it ends up looking a bit blocky. Sister, if you're out there, please watch this because you've been asking me how I do my brows for ages. I did lie a little bit. I do bring it forward into the front of the brow, but I always brush, do um, brush strokes upwards and not how I did them before. concealer on a flat brush and clean up the underline of the eyebrow just makes it look a lot nicer and cleaner complete per personal preference but I like my skin super matte and as you can tell I keep stroking my face to make sure it's um, matte and not dewy I can't stand I can't stand it I don't know what it is I've gone in with a small angle brush from MAC and also using the matte bronze from MAC um, I love this colour, I think it's nice for light to medium tones. Or there's the Hula Light or the Hula, it depends what you like. Um, just going into the cheekbones and then I do bring it onto my forehead with a bigger brush because I find the one that I'm using is a little bit too small. If you've got a pretty big nose like me, thanks dad, um, you can contour it like I've done in the video but you don't have to. is honestly the best just it's the 24 hour brow setter from Ben Fitch comb all your brow hairs up and honestly they won't move at all I've gone from hating blush to loving blush I can't go without it anymore and I think it's because I, I have to put it on my clients really <laughs> finish on myself I still go in with a super glowy highlighter this is the Becca champagne pop I've gone in with the Jaclyn Hill volume 1 palette which is also by Morphe and I'm just using windshield wiper motions and circular motions to blend <music> using a darker orange tone and I'm just repeating the same steps as before just to deepen the crease up a bit more. I've gone in with the deepest orange colour there is in the palette and I'm just focusing that more slightly on the outer V and the crease just to deepen it up. You actually don't need a lot of brushes to do this look to be honest. I think I've only used about three on my eyes so far. I've gone in with the same highlighter as earlier just to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. I've gone in with the Jeffree Star Times Morphe palette and I've just gone into the shade One Noise and I'm just putting that on the outer half of my eye. I feel like the finger, using your finger just helps it apply so much better than a brush. Applying it the same way as before but on the inner part of the lid, I've gone in with the shade Designer Label from the same Jeffree Star palette. Off camera I did put a brown pencil in my waterline, I think it's the shade Date Night from Morphe but I'm not too sure on that, I'll check and put it in the description. Then I'm using the same shades as we used before from the Jeffree Star palette and just smudging that liner out in the bottom. 
I have used the shades Designer Label and One Noise again. I felt like the look needed a bit of glitter so I put the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner from Urban Decay in Gold Mine on my eyelid and then I just used my finger to tap it out and blend it out a bit more. I did attempt to do my winged eyeliner on the camera but I just failed but I have used the Master Ink Eyeliner from Maybelline. I really like a full lash so that's just a bit of me. And I've gone in with the Style 7 from the Peaches and Cream range. I've used the Latex Free Duo Eyelash Glue and I've put it on the band, waited for it to go a bit tacky and then applied it with my tweezers. I just find it's the easiest way. Make sure that you measure your eyelashes up against your eye shape and size. That way it won't look crazy when you put it on and it won't look too big or too small. If it is too big though, if you just trim with your scissors from the outer edge of the lash. I'm going in with the lip liner in the shade Spice. Sorry I'm off camera a little bit, but I will be more in focus in a second. This is from the Primark Beauty range. Last but not least, I'm going in with the shade Don't Stop, the Power Matte Lip Pigment from NARS Cosmetics. I've recently picked this up and I am a sucker for red lip. my first ever voiceover so well done if you got through the whole way or if you turned off your volume completely fine by me I mean you know it's not the nicest accent is it but 